here is something which I want to cover in this uh, in today's session. Again, if you see, uh, this is the sales dashboard. Sales dashboard is one of those dashboard which you have been most familiar with, right? And uh, even my work when I do, uh, you know, or the domain. Okay, there is some background sound coming, guys. Uh, please put yourself on mute so that it is not disturbing everyone. Okay, um, so this this is something which uh, what my domain is also the sales analytics and sales analytics is you know you have various different dimensions like you want to show the performance you want to show how you are planning uh, the targets for the sales how what the commission really looks like you know the pipeline information how many pipeline of opportunities you have if you have been working with SFTC. Uh, the salesforce.com uh, so all of these different types of analytics so what i have taken is a very familiar data set those who have been doing the the tableau related work or the dashboard development or visualization development this this data set is coming along with the tableau to play around with so that is why uh, today i have not shared uh, the the data set because it's already part of the if you're of your uh, Tableau system. So I will show you from the scratch if you are not really sure where to find it. But I, I usually I, I really expect that you know because this is this is uh, something where you may have some ideas about or I expect that you have some ideas about the Tableau. So quick information about the dashboard. What it basically tries to tell is first of all, as you can see, it is an executive dashboard. That means uh, when the senior executive like your uh, chief of the department or chief of the companies basically looks at they want to know the high level KPI information so that is something what we have provided sales profit and quantity so one is a very high level dashboard and then you want to drill down into the lot of details you know based on the questions that they are asking like for example why uh, every time the the sales are going down during these periods stuff like that so for that we need to provide them a bit of a drill down like what's what's really going on and stuff like that so first thing first is what if what we have is the kpi information and the functionality we are going to look at and we are going to develop is if we choose any of the kpi sales profit or quantity all of our divisions which is consumer corporate and home office should be filtered by the kpi or visualization that we are selecting sorry uh can't see your screen actually are you sharing e am i not one minute I... one minute my apologies yes i am not sorry about that um can you see my screen now yes now we can okay can you see this dashboard which i am showing right now over here now yes okay all right thank you so much um so superstore sales executive dashboard like i was explaining and what we have is these kpis right sales profit and quantity and what i was mentioning is if we choose any of the kpi all of the metrics down below should be able to change based on our selection so what it allows us is we don't have any specific filters that into the dashboard but we allow them to choose it from the kpi of their interest for example i want to know about profit i should be able to select the profit right and all of my visualization should change or i should be able to select the quantity all of my visualization should be able to change so based on the kpis your visualization down below into the chart for a given dimension should be uh, changed after your selection so that is the functionality number one the the benefit of this functionality is these values or these uh, kpis are clearly visible and anyone who wants to go in depth into each of these kpi your related metrics are down below right and then we have clearly specified the segments about consumer corporate and home office keeping in mind that this is the requirement we have got uh, now this is a consumer segment let's say you have the uh, product category so if i just come out of this 
So for example, over here, right, you have the consumer segment, uh, the segment information is what we have taken. But if this dashboard or similar dashboard is required by the product organization, you have the product category, right? So as a homework also, you can you can first create this and another one that you can create is the for, by, for the product department. So for product, you have, uh, I think, four different types of high level product. If I uh, if I see this right click in the aliases, if I, three, three product, right? Like three segment, you have the three product. So think about this. If you are creating this for product organization, you come like furniture, home office, sorry furniture technology and there was one home supplies or something like that so so similar to that requirement you can create uh, not from a customer segment perspective but for product organization so depending on the requirement right and then some more functionality so over here you see that what i'm showing is the selected trend value right so it opens up a lot of um, ideas why because when I make any selection over here on this chart, over here, over here, anywhere, right? Their respective values are shown uh, over here. Now, if I just click it over here, you can see the 101K is uh, getting populated over here, which is the value over here. If you see 101K and then based on this point, which is the 2020 Q4, right? So in Q4, based on the calendar year, you have October, November and December, right? So not just the specific point, but you have the trend related information. Similarly, if I just go and click it over here, you have the respective value and the trend information. Similarly, over here, you have the trend information over here. So the whole idea what we want to give is uh, first thing first is you are able to see what is my total value. And what is a breakdown of trend, right? So that way you go in details and you are able to look at or your executive is able to look at when it is going down, whether it is consistently going down or it is going up or it is stagnant. Like first it was up, then it is it, it has become stagnant. So with this, you can think about uh, the different possibilities. This is right now just a trend. But if the requirement is that you want to go into couple of other metrics related to this which you want to show based on some selections then you can do that another thing coming back to the selected trend value right now we are just selecting 101k based on this so that means whatever we are selecting is getting picked over here that means we have picked up the value either we show only the value that we have picked or we can even manipulate with this right similar uh, sort of like what if analysis because we already know the the value over here so based on the value if you want to change it based on some sort of a scenario what if or any calculation if you want to put it you can even do that right so you have this uh, q4 information and over here if you see so this is q4 but if you select this point let's say so it becomes q3 information but if you select both of these points right this value adds up so this is 101k this is 79k and for these two quarters and this is the breakdown of these value so this this is another thing which i will show you how you can add up the values how you can